Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Sketchpad to create a digital mosaic. The first thing I'm going to do is add a picture to the image I already have right here. So I'm going to click the Layers panel located on the right-hand side of my screen. And you'll see that there's an option for a plus sign that says Upload. What this is going to allow me to do is grab a picture. I'm going to jump into my Downloads folder, grab my picture, uh, and it'll import right now. Now, uh, you can see I might need to crop my canvas a little bit to fit the image, and that's totally fine. I can go to my Crop button. I can click and drag, uh, and I'll be able to select just the area that has my image. Um, that way, if I didn't guess right, that's okay. Not a problem. I'm going to apply the crop, and now I have my image. In my Layers tab again, I'm going to want to click on that layer. You can see I can make it disappear and reappear by clicking on the eye. And I'm going to click this little lock button. That's going to mean I can't move my layer. The next thing I'm going to do is select the tool that I'm going to be using to create my digital mosaic. All the way on the other side of my screen, on the, one, on the left hand side, you'll see that there's a tool called Calligraphy. This is the tool I'm going to change. I'm going to change Calligraphy all the way over down to something called Path. And Path is going to allow me to create my digital mosaic. Now, path is automatically going to default to just being an outline, just a black outline with no fill, and that's what we're going to kind of stick with for now. I'm going to click the zoom tool all the way on the other side of my screen and zoom right in. To create my digital mosaic, what I'm going to go ahead and do with my path tool, I'm going to make sure I'm selected on my path tool. I'm going to get approximately to the edge of my shape, but I'm going to be creating geometric shapes uh, to create individual pieces of my mosaic. Each of these pieces does not need to be uniform, they do not need to be the same, but they just generally need to interlock. I'm almost building a puzzle that uh, I'm creating with my brain right now. I'm going to go ahead and keep adding these mosaic pieces, uh, but I'll speed it up for you. Now, it might just seem like I'm randomly clicking and making shapes, and to some extent I am. However, one of the things I want to make sure to focus on is having new shapes where I have color changes. Uh, to make my mosaic look like a mosaic, um, what I'm going to be doing is adding color to these spaces. Now, I have a ton of path layers. Every single path layer here has the opportunity to be a color. I can unlock that background, check how my drawing is looking so far. I can start to see the shape of the heron right now. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys is show you how it's going to start to look with color. One of the cool things I can do, uh, if I'm in my select tool, oh, got to make sure to lock that layer again, almost forgot. One of the cool things I can do in my select tool is actually select that, click on styles at the top, and change my fill color. So right now, there's absolutely no fill to my drawing. If I click on that, it's automatically going to make it black, but I have the option to use the eyedropper tool. I can grab my eyedropper tool scoot right over my image, and it's going to pull that color right out of what's already in the background. I can select a few shapes that have similar color, click my Styles tool, excuse me, sorry about that, click my Styles tool, grab my fill, and boom, I have my next image. This is going to allow you to create colors that are really similar to what's right behind that shape uh, if you go through and click those tools. Now, uh, be cautious if you end up clicking something that there could be a random pixel thrown in there that's a completely different color. So you can always check your values. You can always check what you're creating by turning that back layer off, which is that clip art layer, and seeing how it's looking. I'm going to go ahead and add some more colors, speed it up for you guys just to see what it starts to look like. Now to get the full mosaic effect, what I'm going to go ahead and do is zoom out, 
Obviously, I'm not done this image completely yet. I have a lot to go with adding a few more of those spots in here, different colors and things like that. If you have a nice area of solid color that you can continue on, one of the things you can do to sort of speed up your time when you're in the path tool, you can actually go ahead and select something already with a color. So I have a fill color. I know a lot of this stuff is going to be very similar color. So now when I go to create my path, um, I already have my outline and it's already going to automatically fill it in for me. Then uh, each time I close my path, I don't have to worry uh, about adding that color later. So if you've already grabbed a great color, you don't have to worry uh, about spending extra time going through that other step. If you put something somewhere you don't like, you can use your select tool to grab and move things. You can also use this to enlarge things a little bit or rotate if you end up putting them in the wrong space. Um, easy to move and manipulate different things on here, so that's something you can certainly do. What I'm going to do is go ahead and remove my background image. I'm also going to remove the layer called background if you have that. If you started a transparent image, you won't have this and you won't have to worry about it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and remove that because I had that white background to start with. Now, when I remove the clip art layer, all I'm going to see right now is the drawing itself and a bunch of squares. These squares um, are just, you know, they're not really there. Uh, that's just to show that something's transparent. I'm going to go into something called a vector fill. Uh, and now I'm going to drop that into the back. And oh, <laughs> I'm going to drop that into the back. And you can start to see how my drawing is progressing so far. If I like my spacing, I can keep it as it is. If I think my shapes are too far apart uh, and I wanted to create a smaller area mosaic, I certainly can. The smaller your individual pieces, the more detailed your mosaic will look in the end. In my Layers tab, what I can go ahead and do is turn my image back on, and I'll be able to see it again. Now, at any time, I can turn it back off and check it with my black background.